Hey there chameleons, it's Camille and today I'm finally bringing you my next hair dye tutorial. I decided to do a three section ombre because I love the depth it gives as well as getting to have several colors in at once. This time I actually used permanent dye to get rainbow colors which up until this point didn't exist and you'd have to use semi or demi permanent dye. I love how perfect this color is for spring and how vibrant and happy it makes me feel. Before this, my pink had faded for about five months and my roots have grown significantly, so it was time for a change. The night before, I put coconut oil in my hair to minimize damage from chemicals. I had help with my hair this time by a pro named Julie, who's been doing hair for longer than I've been breathing. She started by brushing out my hair to make it easier to work with and then parting it down the middle and sectioning it off. Since my ends were darker, we used one part Clairol Professional Power Bleach mixed with one part of 30 Volume Developer to lighten them. This will even out my hair so when we color over it, that will come out even as well. Fun fact, oatmeal is a great source of fiber. One important thing about bleach is when you use it, you should make sure the hair is saturated so it doesn't come out all blotchy because trust me, you really don't want to have to re-bleach your hair. If you have dark hair, getting a stylist to help lighten it can be a huge help before dyeing it. The way we applied the bleach was by starting at the bottom and getting all that covered and then using the brush to feather the bleach upward so there would be no harsh line between the bleached and the other hair. Then I flipped over that section and feathered the other side as well. We let the bleach sit and do its thing for about half an hour and then I got to stick my head in one of those cool hair sinks which is very exciting. We rinsed out all the bleach and then washed the hair to stop the reaction and get rid of any remaining bleach. Then we conditioned and paddle brushed out my hair again to detangle it and make it easier to blow dry. The reason we used a blow dryer on my hair is because otherwise we'd have to wait five years for my hair to dry and ain't nobody got time for that. I know Julie has better things to do than watch my hair dry. Next we sectioned the hair to make it easier to apply the dye. We used the brand spankin' new Flare Me line by Clairol Professional, which is a line of vivid permanent dyes. These dye molecules are smaller than the semi-permanent ones and are used and react differently, as you'll see. This dye was made for DIY and is very easy to use at home to come up with your own creations. We mixed one part Power to the Purple and one part 10 Volume Developer and applied this straight to the roots, bringing it down a couple of inches over the lighter hair. The 10 Volume Developer is used so that the dye deposits the color onto your hair without lifting it to lighter levels like higher volumes do. Permanent dyes always look white out of the tube and slowly oxidize once exposed to air to show its true color, which is a dark purple. I found it so neat how you can actually watch it turn from white to light pink to a dark purple right before your eyeballs. To apply this dye, just brush it on from the roots going towards the end of your hair, making sure you saturate all of the hair you're dyeing. This is easier if you work with smaller sections of hair. Flip it over to get the other side and always brush towards the ends. I'm also feathering the end so it makes a smoother transition into the next color. Julie used a small comb to feather the dye even more. Very clever. Next we mixed one part Clearly You, which is a clear dye diluter, with one part Power to the Purple to get a lighter purple than last time. This is going to be the transition color from the dark purple to the lighter ends. It's crazy how much the color changes when oxidized. This was applied the same way as before, but this time feathered on top and on the bottom so it will blend easily between all of the colors. Saturate the top and the bottom and blend the two colors together. I really like using my hands when I dye my hair, as you know, and find it easier to blend this part with my fingers rather than a brush 
because you can really get all up in there, you know? Lastly, we mix one part Make em Blush Pink with one part Developer and, well, Made em Blush Pink. <laughs> what else are you going to do with that color? It actually mixed really nicely with the lighter purple and was super easy to blend, especially when I used my fingers. And yes, you do need to wear gloves when working with this kind of dye. Look at how bright the pink turns. Now that we really made them blush, I'm going to sit for 30 minutes for the dyes to process. During this time, go ahead and eat some oatmeal. Next, you'll need to rinse out all of the dye until the water runs clear. Shampoo to get everything out and then use your best conditioner to rehydrate your locks. Julie wrapped my hair in a towel bun, which was so cute. Then I put in product and finger comb to style and waited for my hair to air dry. After a hard day's work, we came out with this lovely purple to pink ombre, which I am loving for spring. I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thanks to Clairol Professional for making this possible and to Julie for having mad skills. I have links to everything down below, and if you like this video, please subscribe for more content like this. Comment telling me and Julie what you think about these new dyes. Thank you chameleons so much for watching, I wish you all a happy healthy life, and I will see you in the next video. Kisses! Mwah.